Well, Singapore's interest rates could rise sharply to about 1.5% if the U.S. Federal Reserve hikes uh, its rates as planned to 2% by the end of this year. Well, market watchers say that could affect mid-tier property investors in Singapore. And that means benchmarks like Cyborg or Sora will see an increase in the long run. Singapore interest rates have uh, affected in uh, some of these uh, rate high expectations. Uh, the longer term rates, as I mentioned, uh, have already started rising. So your uh, five-year rates, your 10-year borrowing costs, they, they are materially higher than three, four months ago. I think rates like the Cyborg and SAW tend to be more stable because those are term rates. So, so they should be a bit more stable than the, the, the SORA. Market watchers point out that with Singapore easing out of the pandemic, interest rates are expected to rise to around 1 to 3 percent. But at least one property analyst says in the short term, rising interest rates may see some investors purchase smaller units as their loan quantum shrinks. Rents could also rise with landlords passing higher borrowing costs to their tenants. The interest rate rise may affect the mid to mass market segments more as affordability is a key consideration for these buyers. Uh, but in general, uh, people holding uh, multiple properties, especially those who do not have a fixed income or borrowers who took a floating uh, rate package may be more affected by the interest rate fluctuations.